Hello everyone, welcome back to my Morrowind Let's Play. My name is Wara. This is episode 23, and last time, well, we got sick. Came here to tell Fear to try and cure it, but so far, yes. I just got sent on a fetch quest. I am Vis the Kai, Warden of the Corpusarium. I'm here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. If you do come to, if you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden and protector. Do not harm the inmates. I will not tolerate you adding to their suffering. Indeed, they are brutal and ferocious, and they will kill you if they can. But you are not but you are the guest, and you may not harm them, or you will answer to me. Seems like an appropriate precaution. Well, that was easy. I expected this to take a lot longer. Now, if I could just a figure a scheme of what classifying brings you to visit Yagra Lagar, Master Craft, or even more complex Well, I don't know if you heard all of that, now, but he said his name. If I was... could just figure a scheme of classifying manifolds for triply connected surfaces, or even more complex surfaces. Huh. Yagrum Bagarn. You're here for the Dwemer boots. Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwemer mage crafter could have done so much. But only idiots could have created these boots. It shames my race that we must be judged by the works of such lackwit blunderers. Your race? Once I was a master crafter in the service of Lord Kagranak, chief architect of the great Second Empire Freeholds and the greatest enchanter of his time. I could not match the genius of Lord Kagranak, but what he could envision, I and my colleagues could build. All of that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but my hands and eyes fail me. And my memories have now, long faded. If I could just figure a scheme of classifying manifolds for triply connected surfaces, or even more complex surfaces. My only consolation is each day to mock the gods who destroyed my race, and condemn me to this bleak existence. Since the disappearance of the dwarves, I have been alone in this world, trapped in this grim prison. I can scarcely move, and my fellow inmates are scarcely good company. The risk of corpus disease deters most visitors, but, you meet, but if you meet with cultivated minds, undaunted by the terrors of the corpusarium, you might mention your recent interview with the last living dwarf. Huh. Cool. This is how I style myself. I do not know for a fact that I am the last, but in my travels thousands of years ago, I never encountered another. And since I have been here, I often ask Lord Fear, no, but he says he I has never heard a credible rumor of another Dwemer on Tamriel or in any outer realm. Or even more complex surfaces. Okay. You're annoying me while I'm trying to read. Gracious Keeper, I owe my life to Lord Fear. He took me in when I was a mad monster, out of my mind. In time, I emerged from my dementia, and now I am quite lucid most of the time. Though my body is still a grotesque and useless prison, and I still have some feeble hope of a cure, Lord Fear has tried many spells and potions. None have helped me, but neither have they harmed me. If anyone can cure this disease, Lord Fear can. Hmm, I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in an outer realm at the time. And when I came back, my people were gone. I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years, searching our deserted colonies, looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then, a long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found corpus disease, and I have been here ever since. I have theories, if you are interested. Lord Kagranak, the foremost arcane philosopher and magecrafter of my era, devised tools to shape mythopoetic forces, intending to transcend the limits of Dwemer mortality. 
However, in reviewing his formulas, some logic logicians argued that side effects were unpredictable and errors might be catastrophic. I think Kagranak might have succeeded in granting our race eternal life with unforeseen consequences, such as wholesale displacement to an outer realm, or he may have erred and utterly destroyed our race. Fun. Well, why are those Dwemer boots? Lord Fear attained these enchanted boots from an unfortunate thief. And given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the fellow came to a bad end. But I can do nothing for them. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again. If such a pair of boots could still be fashioned in these benighted latter days. But I have done my best. Take them to Lord Fear with my sincere apologies. Interesting. Well, let's get back to Lord Fear. Did you get my boots? No boots, no potion. The boots first, please, and now. The boots first, please, and now I'll give you the potion. On the following condition, you must drink it here, before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed? Good. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good. Now swallow. Goodness. Good grief. Look, look, it's working. Remarkable. Let me check your skin, your eyes, your tongue. Amazing. I think it worked. No sign of the disease at all. Of course, you still have corpus disease, just like I planned. But all your symptoms are gone. Marvelous. I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate inmates. But I'll answer any questions you have before you go. See? No more symptoms. Amazing. I'm a bit surprised myself. It worked, didn't it? Remarkable. Perhaps it will work on the other inmates. I'll have to proceed carefully, of course. You may be an exceptional case. Corpus immunity, blight disease immunity, Common disease immunity. Weakness to magicka. Wow. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to return home. And take a nap. Well, that's pretty cool. Full immunity to many things. You wake, you hear something nearby. You hear something and sense the presence of another nearby. What the? Holy moly! Yeah, from... For those of you who know this game well, 
from here over, this is all a modded location. So technically, it's outside of a building, so technically things can spawn and attack me. Mental note, sleep over here. Really slept in there. With pleasure. Please go ahead. I'm all ears. Much better reception than last time. Warov, thank you for your report. I'm very happy you've been cured. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. I've been recalled to the Imperial City. You'll be promoted to operative, and we'll head the blades here in Vardenfell until I return. I've only waited here to give you your final orders before I go. Internal politics, some concern about my sugar. I thought about refusing the recall, but they have members of my family back in the capital. I'm afraid it may have something to do with the problems with the succession. As the Emperor's health declines, factions are maneuvering for advantage. I may be gone a while. That's why you're promoted to operative. That makes you the ranking Blades agent here in Vardenfell District. As far as I know. There may be other Blades agents here that I don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. I may be gone a while and you'll have expenses. Here's some gold and you can use the house until I return. And I won't be needing these blacks or the ring while I'm in Cyrodiil. Maybe they'll come in handy. Take good care of them. There's nothing to it. Each agent has his own assignment and reports directly to Cyrodiil. You're promoted to operative mostly to preserve your independence. You're no fool. The days of the Empire are almost over. When the Emperor dies, nine hells are going to break loose. Forget about the Imperial City. Think logically. Worry about the Sixth House and Dagoth Ur, and squabbles between the Great Houses and the Colonists. The rest of the political nonsense doesn't amount to a plate of scuttle. Well then, what are my orders? Continue pursuing the Nervarine prophecies, as the Emperor commands. First, go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice, and get Mi Mira Metlo Milo to help you find the Lost Prophecies. She's being watched. If something has gone wrong, Find her private quarters. She'll leave you a message there under the code word Amaya, and then take the Lost Prophecies to Nibani Maesa. From that point, you'll have to follow her directions and follow the prophecies. Good luck. Well, see you around, Caius. Let's see what that ring he gave us does. Fortify luck, fortify security. Huh. Fortify Sneak, Chameleon... Ah, oh, these are all on use. I much prefer passive effects. Oh.
Well, let's head over to Vivek then. That is gorgeous. Look at all that armor. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Just let me oogle you. Wow. Welcome to Devek Warav. I'm sure you have some questions. What would you like to know? Where did you get your armor? Ah, it doesn't say. But still, that's nice. I figured why not loot the place since she's not coming back. Amaya, I'm sorry I missed you. I had to run some old documents over to the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth, and I'm likely to be tied up there for a while. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? And then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amaya, don't forget to bring me the two Divine Intervention Scrolls you borrowed. Or if you use them, buy a couple of new ones for me. I think I'm going to need them soon. Janan Malin at the Mages Guild in the Foreign Quarter keeps them in stock. Aveli Saram is the guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me and she'll let you in. Your faithful friend, Mayra. P.S. I left a couple of levitation potions for you here, just in case. Couldn't remember if you knew the spell or not, so I drew a couple potions from stock. Ministry of Truth, Aveli Saram. Oh, I hope I still have those. No, 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 no. So I have one. Is there something I can do for you? Share your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. Barter. Hail and welcome. Do you <clears> have <throat> any news?
probably imprisoned in the Ministry of Truth. Tell the guard at the entrance of El Saram I'm looking for Mero Milo. Let's see here. Let's just find our way out of here. I'm waiting. Oh, no weakness or fault. That'd be a very quick way to, uh, to death. My time is precious, so make it quick. One moment, please. I'm sorry, no pilgrims allowed in the ministry. I'll have to ask you to leave. But you're not here to visit anyone, are you? Mira said you would come. I s I'll say you subdued me with magic and stole my key. It opens all three exterior doors. The upper back door is best. You'll need other keys for the other doors inside. Search for the keys and desks. No one carries keys while on duty. Mira is in prison keep in the cell on the far right. Mira said you'd bring scrolls to get out. Some of us are sympathetic to the dissident priests, but kill an ordinator and you'll lose that sympathy. Here's the key to the entrance. Now get going. Her back door, eh? Do I have invisibility? No, I don't. Balmora first. I want to get an invisibility spell. Please join well, me. This might take a little while, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I found it, and it didn't take me long at all. It's expensive, though. I have a 0% chance to cast May I help it. you? Wonderful. So that means we go down here to the spellcrafter and make a shorter duration spell. Welcome. Care to talk? Spell making.
thirsty. Got me hungry. Perfect. What? Hmm. One minute. Yeah, my stats were damaged a little bit somewhere. Where did that restore endurance go? See? Much better. Okay. Let's go. Back to Vivek Temple. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's see here. Can I cast Lesser Concealment? Well, as it turns out, I just discovered a small glitch past this door that I need to take care of. So, I'm going to call it quits for this episode, and I'll see you guys when I fix it. Lay it. Yeah, here, let's save. 0023. See you guys later.